So if you would tell me who you are and where you teach. Okay, hi, my name is Wanda Kendall. I teach fifth grade in Lake in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, at Lakeland Elementary. Good. What have you found works really well for keeping children motivated in the classroom? Incentives. Incentives, incentives, no incentives, kidding. because it's okay. it's so hard. You know, you're competing with so many other things in the outside environment. So, anytime you can, and it takes so little, simple stick or a pencil, okay. anything. Well, you know, with Smile Makers, mm -hmm. and of course, we have those incentives. So, I didn't prompt you to say that. <laughs> so, um, so, you have all of those things? Oh, yes, we do. Great. Stickers and uh, coloring, everything to really okay. inspire a child in the classroom. But do you have any uh, good success stories? A, a child that you thought was impossible um, and something? I know I had one kid that was kind of difficult to reach, but I found some, they like the little scented markers, okay. and so, if, you know, if he could kind of just stay on task for an hour, you know, he could earn those things, and so that seemed to work really well. Stickers that smell or markers, so. So what do you think about the conference today? Have you learned any... Anything a lot of good, a lot of good information. Just um, really kind of zone in on, you know, the dire needs that's going on with public education and how we really need to lobby and make sure that our legislators know what's important. And um, there is, you know, I like I said, I teach fifth grade. There's six of us. We share one assistant, and so they really need to get those assistants back in the classroom. Class sizes are going up, and there's just so many more demands, but we don't have the manpower to do it. And so if we're really about putting children first and doing what's in their best interest. They need to get that budget together for educators. <laughs> well, thank you for taking a moment to talk to me. I hope you enjoy the afternoon. Thank you. All right. All right. If you would tell me who you are and where you teach. I'm Sonia West. I teach at Pactolis in Pitt County, North Carolina. Yeah, very good. And tell me something, either the challenge you have in motivating children in the classroom or a success you've had, something you found works really well. Okay, well, the challenge and the success is basically the same because I try to really encourage my kids to be intrinsically uh, motivated, okay. and so I do not give a lot of stickers okay. and candy and things like that for external rewards. Um, I give a lot of praise mm -hmm. and whole group um, rewards and um, recognition, um, caught being goods and things like that for okay. above and beyond, and just trying to teach the kids their basic citizens responsibilities and things like that. So. Very good. And what age group do you teach? Uh, I currently teach first and second combination. Oh, wow. Yes. So are you having a good time at the conference today? Can I am today? enjoying the conference. This is my first conference. What, and uh, what has surprised you about something you've heard today? Or is it um, I'm really excited to see how motivated our teachers are right now and um, excited and how we're going to unite to empower the teachers about these budget cuts and the things and make legislators understand how important supporting education is. Well, thank you for taking a moment to talk with me today. You're welcome. So if you would tell me who you are and where you teach. Uh, my name is Marion Wilkins. I teach 7th grade math at Curtisville Middle School. Oh, you teach 7th grade and math. Yes. <laughs> you look like a very happy person that enjoys being a teacher. Why do you enjoy being a teacher? Um, I love to give back to my community and to the children because I feel like as much as I learn, it's no point in keeping it all bottled up inside. I need to share it. And the easiest way to share it with the world is through the children. Because when they grow up, you never know where they'll end up. So it's kind of like making a piece in history. So anything surprised you or anything new that you've learned at the, uh, the conference today? Um, that the cuts really do affect us. I, right now I have 34 and 33 in a class, in two of my classes, and I was just telling my um, colleagues how my 20, my class of 24, we get so much more done, we're learning so much more, but in my 33 and 34, there are so many more distractions. So it's very important that, you know, the government stop the cuts. It's very important. Because it's affecting the children. It's not really, you know, affecting everybody else. It's affecting them personally, because they get like one minute a piece in all of my classes. That one on one time is gone. That's like the biggest thing. That is a challenge. Well, thank you for stopping thank by Smile Makers today and have a great afternoon. You too.